We've got some breaking news coming out of the NFL. Uh, before we get into that, though, here is Pete Prisco's top 10 free agents. And the guy atop the list is the guy that we're going to be talking about. Uh, Javon Hargrave, who had a fantastic season with the Philadelphia Eagles last year, helped lead them to the Super Bowl. He is no longer an Eagle. He has agreed to terms on a four-year, $84 million with the San Francisco 49ers. That, according to our lead NFL insider, Jonathan Jones, the deal reportedly includes $40 million guaranteed for Hargrave, who was a force for the Eagles last season. He had 11 sacks for the NFC champions. He was the top player, as you saw on that board, of Pete Prisco's list of 100 top free agents. So the deal confirmed by our lead NFL insider. Uh, let's bring in Brady Quinn here, NFL analyst. Brady, obviously this is a big signing for a 49ers defense that was already a, one of the best in the league. Yeah, they're already one of the best. However, there was kind of one glaring weak spot as they headed into this offseason, and that was the interior defensive line. They don't have many on the roster. Eric Armstead's still there. But their draft pick from 2020, Javon Kinlaw of South Carolina, he's never really lived up, I think, to what they were hoping he would be. Never played all, every game during the course of a season. In fact, I believe he's only played about 10 games over the course of the past two seasons, so really struggling to make an impact like they're looking for. And then the exact opposite end, Javon Hargrave probably was the best defensive tackle on the Eagles this year, and that's saying a lot considering their personnel. So you sign the 30-year-old up for a four-year deal. Um, we'll see how, how much of that he sees, but it definitely plugs a hole for a defense that doesn't have many and now looks to be once again at the top of the NFL. So what kind of a loss is this for the Eagles then on their defense? Obviously, this is a big blow for them. It is, but we knew that was going to be the case. I mean, they have so many free agents, especially when you think about some of the guys they signed during the season. It's not only Hargrave, but it's also Sue. It's also Linval Joseph. You could throw in their secondary, Mike Epps and James Bradbury and Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. I mean, uh, TJ Edwards already signed elsewhere. So they have a ton of uh, holes to fill. I personally believe, I mean, Howie Roseman's one of the better in the NFL of being able to replenish this group. He'll be able to do some through free agency, but he does it too through the draft. You know, I'm a big believer in being able to draft defensive players outside of the first round, still plug them in and get a lot of value out of them. That's usually the case. You can get those guys up to speed relatively fast as compared to learning an offense and learning what you're seeing from defenses at the NFL level. So a uh, big loss for them, especially the way Hargrave played this past season, but they should be able to replenish this. And, and remember, Brandon Graham is signing back. He chose to come back for another year. That should help create some stability up on that defensive front, even though he's more off of the edge. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.